from, um, I'm not sure where I've got this now. No, I can't remember where I got it. Was it Sainsbury's? I ain't got a clue. It was one of the big four. Anyway, from Brew York, it's their Goose Willis. Obviously oh, a little bit of a Bruce Willis thing going off there. I like how to do it, you know. It is their Gooseberry Fool Sour. Um, I had some gooseberries for years. Can't read the writing on the can. It's absolutely the bonjour. The writing is awful. The, you know, the colour of the writing on there, it just makes it virtually unreadable. Especially with me being half blind, I think, these days. <clears throat> oh. So, using the old Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits glass. Yeah, I'll be interested in all. That's why I'm doing an Imperial last. Just so I can... Uh... This is, I think this is a taste, a, ta a cleanser. Taste good cleanser. Brew York. Good evening, matey. Bagster. 5.3%. And uh, I think this is going to taste the gooseberries, but uh, we'll see. So, a golden, hazy golden pour. Really, is it Morrison's? It is Morrison's, yeah, yeah. I thought it was Morrison's, yeah. I couldn't figure for the life out of me which one I got it from. So many different... I think it's Morrison's, yeah. A Demi Moorish, yeah, <laughs> Dunkle Moor. But yeah, not much of a head. Head's already dissipated. Um, on the nose. Whoa. Gooseberry on the nose, but whoa. Yeah, yeah, so it's the it's the one from Lee and Musco. So obviously, stands out really well, to be fair. And then on the back, you obviously got the, you know, the red card and all that. And a few of my sayings. Dog shit review, I've done a dog shit review for ages. Well, I've got the weekend. It is, it's, it is a lovely, good afternoon or good evening rather. Good evening, Thomas, how are you? Wah, some right twang. Yeah, that red card thing's good at the bottom, isn't it? I can't even remember. I was I was too uh, took back by the woman with the big boobies. Stone the crows. Oh, no wonder. That's better. I've got a mouse in front of me and I'm trying to, to, to use the mouse on the laptop, but obviously the bloody mm -hmm. laptop's not the same thing. So I'll just put the... Um, miss that. No, not these days, no, no. But I've got the top shelf, obviously. So there's there's the top shelf, there's this shelf, and then there's this shelf. But at one stage, I had them on them, that shelf, I had them on two lots of things, and all over the floor. But my my um, stockpile of beers has gone down massively. And uh, I think on my birthday, it will go back up again, because the, the kids... And the wife will buy me some beers, one would have thought. I'm, I was good after the beers. Oh, after you jabbing me. Good evening, Mr. Bolton. Didn't see you, didn't see you jump in. What happens when the shelves are empty? I'll cry. No, I'll get more beers. I mean, I've got a load of um, stuff over there. I've got spirits and stuff. I've got a couple of lagers. I've got a load that I'm going to do battles of. But yeah, the majority of the stuff, um, the levels have dropped down massively. MJ Lime and Elderflower Cider. Sounds nice. It will never get empty. Yeah, it is. It, the, the stockpile needed to take a hammer in. So in some ways, by not buying, 
um, because usually I put my money to one side and I'd be buying beers. And with going out yesterday, I held money back, so I had some money to go out with. And um, it's helped. I mean, tomorrow, uh, sorry, Saturday, I'm actually going to a local brewery and they're open till two. So I'm just going to catch them while they're open and I'm going to spend 50 quid there at a local brewery and get some good beers. I've got enough beer in it, trust me. If I had to, I'd just, I'd just do, uh, I'd just do live chats all week, just, just necking home brew, and not really actually talking about the beer, like a stone crow all, all week long. Could you imagine if you actually made a COVID beer? That why are you drinking? You're protecting yourself. Jobs are good. So you put the rum in, why are you still brewing them? That's interesting. I suppose to blend it, get it blended. I try not to buy four packs, but sometimes four packs are a good thing because I'll do one and then um, I've actually got a shed. I've actually got a fridge. Yeah, it's next door. Yeah, don't use it. <laughs> But for the summer months, I may need to slap a couple of beers in the fridge, you know, just to keep them. Corona, yeah, yeah. They, I tell you what, Corona's numbers worldwide must have took an absolute pound in this last year. Go out. Go on, out. Yes, yeah, go. Stressing because you can't get in the house. You can smell food. Black Lodge Brewery. I've had, I've had one from Black Lodge Brewery. Evening, I was looking on the thing. That was who, who's Charlie? Obviously, my dog. Serial killer, six point five brew York. I've noticed that. Uh, um, good evening, Jordy. How are you? Um, I've noticed that uh, Brew York and Emperor's Brewery have brought out some collabs. Some, I think it's stouts. I think it's Brew York, I'm sure it is. This is really tangy. If it's food to have with beers, blue cheese, Stilton all day long. Stilton, a cheese board, but a blue a blue cheese board with a nice, uh, strong Imperial Stout. That'd be my, um, yeah, that'd be my um, choice. But depending, you know, I mean, obviously, um, you'd want something, yeah, definitely. Have a good blue and stout. You can't, you can't beat something strong like an impy with a decent blue cheese. Oh, you just, you just can't beat it. This is ever so twangy. Good evening. And uh, wow, so twangy on the. Um, that gooseberry, I reckon it's a bit of a Marmite one. You're either going to like it or you're going to absolutely hate it. I mean, we're on about going out and getting a um, gas bottle this weekend because uh, it's going to be warm. We're talking 22 degrees, which for us in the UK is warm. Um, so the shed should uh, really heat up nicely and uh, these brews will start bubbling away like an absolute swine. Bateman's dark fruit porter. I didn't mind it, to be honest, but I have heard other people saying, yeah, thank God, we need it, don't we? It should be warm across the country. We're supposed to be having a bit of an heat wave. Uh, a good seven days of it, apparently. It's never ruined them before. The, um, yeah, they've been on there. A lot of these have been on a year and it's never really bothered them. Um, obviously some stuff you need to drink cold. So I'll bang them in the uh, fridge if need be, but uh, yeah. I mean, at some stage I may. Yeah, yeah, everything's, everything's gonna grow like the absolute clappers. 
you've had all that rain now you're going to get the warmth it's going to grow like absolute merry out and uh, i need to get the boss to get me some uh, yeah exactly definitely warm weather i need to get the boss to get me some petrol because i'm going to be it's going to be mowing hedge trimming weeding um so the planting season it has been depressing it's been we've had like a winter and spring of about six months it's but jesus christ and more like a winter yesterday it was like winter in nottingham yeah, the flowers will really come out. 22 degrees in Wales today. Wow, that's good. The thing is with your garden is as soon as something flowers, give it a good prune. Not too heavy, but certainly loosen the bushes and that. Make it easier for the birds to sit in the bushes, but without the cats being able to climb up to them. Um, that's why, you, you know, it stops, it stops that. With shrubs. Hopefully no rain tomorrow. Doesn't say it's going to be raining. No, well, not in Nottingham at least. There's a possibility of rain on next Wednesday. Yeah, but a beautiful bank holiday weekend. So I'm back. I'm back at work tomorrow for a day. I've got. I've got to go in because there's nobody to water the plants in the greenhouse, in the marquee. So I've got to go in and water the plants anyway. So. Water the plants. I'm going to do a load of planting all day long. Uh, give them a good watering. Get them nice and soaked. And then let nature take its place. And see what grows and see what don't. See what the slugs eat. Bastards. Hate slugs. And snails. I've got a load of eggshells to put down there. I'll sort them. Every time we go to Northern Ireland, it chucks it down. Every single time. I know, and it looks like it's going to be a storm in Bank Holiday. So you'll get all the piss heads on the streets. Yes, Bailey's Pina Colada. I know, I, I want to get it, but at the moment, I just can't, I can't invest 16 quid in a bottle of Bailey's at the moment. Not when I need to catch up with the, uh, good evening. Not when I need to catch up. Costa del Swansea, bless you. And you're with a lovely lady as well. Oh, fair play, mate. Fair play. Oh, this is really, really twangy. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. They were different, weren't they? Yeah. Bowman was more coherent than me, though. Yeah. But um, I, I thought I did well, to be fair. You know. Neither of us had anything to eat, uh, unless he had a, unless he had a good a dosh, you know, a good nosh up before me. I had the same. Uh, cheers, mate. I had the same, and um, I had something to eat before I went out. And uh, to say, drank all them big beers. However, I wasn't steaming; didn't go halfway. It is. It, this is a little bit harsh. That gooseberry. Oh. I mean, obviously, you never drink on an empty stomach because you're going to cause yourself issues. Uh, I, I pissed up after three pints. And uh, last night, uh, I did... Um, <laughs> I uh, I thought I performed quite well, really. I, I mean, it was a good night. We had, oh, for God's sake, it's the dog. I mean, it's gammy leg. Um, he just needs to go and lie up the top of the decking and start walking down the decking. Problem is, he's a nosy bleeder and he can't help himself. So, a bit longer than last night's reviews, although they, they, it, was, it, it was nice to actually do it, a two minute review or three or four minute. Honeysuckle through Budlier. Yeah, yeah. But with all, with all shrubs, they do need a good hiding every now and again. Stop and get out of hand. Who's in the playoffs this year? I've not. I've took no notice of any of the playoffs. Um, I do know Saturday night. I need to move the beer review to six o'clock because Champions League's on at quarter to eight, and I'm watching that. I can't miss that. So yeah, six o'clock beer review Saturday. I'll make sure I get my dinner first early, and then tell the wife she's getting kicked off. She's getting kicked off upstairs. 
the, the thing is with me, I don't go down the pub that often, to be fair. Thank you for those people commenting. No. <laughs> Blackpool versus Lincoln. Lincoln have got Nottingham Forest players, if memory serves me correctly. Yeah. Yeah, when, when I do go to the pubs, and I don't go very often, one, money, two, not many great pubs around. Um, so I don't want to go into town all the time. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, at the end, I was just taking the piss out of the people sat across on the table. And, uh, yeah. I thought I was still quite coherent, though, really. I was steaming, but, yeah. Yeah. I, I dampened down a bit when I spilled off the um, the Imperial Sour down me. Malibu Waterman. Watermelon. Ooh. That sounds nice. With any shrubs, the best time to cut back is straight after flowering. Although, this time of the year, nibble a bit back. You can go back to, um, you know, a not, go back to, a, you know, a leaf form or a node, cut it back and just, just edge it back a bit. Camellias, if you don't prune camellias, then they just get woody and in the end they break and they die anyway. And uh, the little old lady who I'm going to on Saturday, she's got a camellia. She absolutely loves it. But I've said to her, it's got to be cut back. I will cut it back. Gym festival. Yeah, I'm, I'm not touching no gyms. No, it's bad enough trying to keep up with all the beers these days. Yeah. At some stage, I'll be right. But, you know, with all the local breweries doing a lot of stuff now, I, I'm trying to put half between local and half between... Um, she was good, yeah. I had, to, I had to knock on the door and she says to me, thought you was coming home for eight o'clock. But other than that, she was fine. I, I kind of knocked the glass, didn't I? Luckily, it didn't go over Borman and his wife. I would have felt really, really bad. Yeah. Well, for me, I can watch it. Um, the Champions League because I'm not a fan of either. You know, I'm a Forest fan, but it's both English teams. So to me, it's great. It's a big fingers crossed, fingers up to the rest of Europe, especially Paris Saint Germain and Barcelona, who have more money than sense and Real Madrid, who won it too many times. They needed it needed to change. It needed um, somebody to come in. For me. I think I'd actually like to see Man City win it. I'd like to see Pep do it. He didn't do it for Bayern Munich. Not that I can remember. Uh, 100%. But uh, I, I, I'd be happy to see Man City do it. And it would certainly put the wind up the Man U fans. But um, yeah, it's all good fun, isn't it? Bruno Fernandes. <laughs> So, this is a real twang fest of a beer. Don't get me wrong. It really, really is twangy. I didn't think he did. No, I didn't think he did with Bayern. Oh. Hazy, golden poor. Um, I feel sorry for Frank Lampard in some ways because Chelsea got to the European, the Champions League with his team. Lost and ground pale from Waitrose. Yeah, I didn't rate the one I had from um, um, Waitrose. Yeah, I didn't rate it. Yeah, it, it wasn't, I didn't think it was the best. It was very... We've got BT Sports, so we're all right. We can watch it. Yeah, we're on Virgin. Yeah, I thought it was average as well, Bolton. Didn't, I didn't really rate it. They need a salary cap across the world. Then that stops it. They were 10th under Lampard. I think Lampard needs to go back to Derby. He, did Dar he was good at Derby. And he should have stayed at Derby. And brought the young players on. Don't buy all these idiots. Bring the young on. Get Derby in a way where Derby are competing at the top. And, uh, you know, to me, he's going to Palace, is he? Yeah, not bad for him. He needs to go somewhere where it's not a top 14 now. 
where he can bring the young on. Mix and match young with experience. But what do I know? Eh? I'm just a fan. Um, hazy golden poor. Gooseby on the nose. Gooseby on the taste. Swangy gooseby all the way through. Oh. I think Chelsea was too soon for him. Celtic could be an interesting team for him. Yeah. You have nothing to take the top off. Are you at home or are you, uh, you working at a building site? I used to bite the top off at one stage, but my teeth aren't that strong these days. I'm going to start cracking my teeth. So from Brew York, um, this is a Marmite beer. All day long, Marmite. The Olympics, I'm not really bothered about the Olympics, to be honest. Although I do like some of the female events, but I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> I don't mind a bit of tennis, to be fair. Yeah. Um, five litre keg dispensers, 99 quid. That's not bad, is it, I suppose? Pity you can't reuse keg dispensers. Oh. Pochettino's going back to Tottenham. I don't think they should have got rid of him. Or is or is the bloke in Antonio the Italian bloke who's just won the Italian league? What's his he was at Chelsea, I can't remember his bloody name. Yeah, 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 but I know what you're saying about the female stuff, yeah. Vegemite, bless you. Uh, yeah, this is this you're either gonna like this. Conti. I reckon Conti would be good for Tottenham. I do. I do. And it's amazing that he's already put his um he's already he's already leaving. So what does that tell you? Out of five for me, if you like it, it's a 4.5. If you're not so keen, it could be a 3.5. For me, it's a bit, it's not that great. I didn't really like it. I didn't really like the gooseberry. Um for me, about a 3.8 out of five. Would I buy it again? No, I would not. No, not my cup of tea. Yeah, so 3.8 out of 5. Get the grinder on it. <laughs> Beach volleyball. Oh, bless you. Yeah, if that's on, I'm, I'm watching. And uh, yeah, I might have to look at the Olympics this year, just that curiosity side of things. Yeah, yeah, I don't really rate it. Yeah, don't matter. I don't care who the, who the brewery is. If I didn't like the beer, I didn't like the beer. Simple as that, really. Right. It went on my... Um, I didn't really like the gooseberry. Not at all. A mu very much a marmite, or even a veggie might be. <laughs> right, back in two minutes with the last review. Omnipolo Imperial Stout. Cheers, everyone. Looking forward to this one. Especially after that, land them last.